this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to hold a basic percussive beat while strumming and finger picking. Making the basic percussive sounds is relatively easy because there's two different movements that we have to master. The first is the bass drum sound, which we create by hitting the top of the guitar by moving our heel backwards. This creates a low sort of thud. Be careful to do it relatively delicately because we don't want to crack the top of the guitar. The second sound is our snare drum sound, which we create by turning our wrist and hitting the bass strings with the side of our thumb to create a click. So the bass drum sound by moving backwards into the guitar, and then the snare sound by turning our wrist sideways to create a snare sort of click sound. This piece is split into three main sections. The first two bars is just playing the basic beat of kick, drum, snare, drum, kick, drum, snare, drum. So moving the heel of the hand against the body of the guitar and notice how your fingers sort of naturally want to flick out, which will come in handy later. And then the snare drum sound where we turn our wrist. So kick, drum, snare, drum. After those first two bars, we start strumming and playing this continuous beat of kick drum, snare drum at the same time. Now earlier I mentioned how when we do our kick drum sound, our fingers naturally flick out. And if we could take that a little further and actually make contact with the strings, we can make our first strum whilst percussively hitting the guitar. So the two chords that we use are our E minor and A minor. So first you get your E minor chord, and play your bass drum sound whilst flicking those fingers out to create a downstroke. So we get a downstroke and a kick drum sound simultaneously. This is followed by a simple upstroke. So we can go back to moving our wrist as we normally would when we strum. Then we have a snare drum sound, which is very similar to another downstroke. We're turning our wrist to make that click. So we follow that click with an upstroke we just continue that pattern. In a way, we're just moving down, up, down, up. We're doing different things whilst doing those strokes. So we've got a kick drum sound and a snare drum sound to think about. We continue that pattern across both chords. 